Here we want to add these two polynomials. In this case, it's just a plus sign with nothing in front of either of the polynomials. So we do not need to use the distributive property. We can just drop our parentheses. So the first thing we can do is remove the parentheses around that are separating the two polynomials. Once we've done that, then we can see each of our individual terms. From there, what we want to do is group like terms so that we can combine like terms. So what I'm going to do is group the 7x cubed and the 6x cubed together. And I'll cross them off as I do this so I don't miss any. Because then I want to group the 3, whoops, this is a 6x cubed. And then I want to group the 3x squared and the minus 2x squared together. So I can cross those off. Then I have two x terms. I have a minus 5x and a plus 4x, so I can group those two together. And finally, minus 11 and minus 13 can be grouped together. So that I have 7 plus 6 is 13x cubed. 3 minus 2 is 1x squared. I can put the 1 in front, but it's unnecessary, so I can just write x squared. And negative 5 and a positive 4 is a minus, again, 1x, but I don't need the 1 in front. I can just write minus x. And finally, negative 11 minus 13 is the same as negative 11 plus negative 13, which is negative 24. Now, double checking, I have a cube term, a squared term, a first degree term, and a constant term. There are no more like terms, and therefore this has now been simplified as far as possible.